spoke to Mike a couple of months ago about speaking at the event. Uh, we talked about lots of different things I could talk about. Uh, and given that Jim had gone on at length about HMOs, I thought one of the things that would be very interesting to look at is how you go from being a property investor to basically being a property business owner. And there is quite a big difference between the two. So I prepared, uh, prepared a couple of slides to kind of help us go through that, which we're going to do on an, on an informal basis and want a bit of interaction if we can have it when we go through some of these questions. There's about six things we're going to look at, uh, which are all about looking at your property business and how you can improve it. So we're going to get kicked off by just handing these out. So we we'll some over there. Uh, all right, so before you go peeking ahead and spawning all the surprises, can everyone, everyone got the front sheet? You just want to fold it in half. So you've got, just like that. Fantastic. Okay. This, this uh, what we're going to go through this evening is, is part of our strategic needs analysis that we do with investors up and down the country. Uh, Stanford Knight, for those of you who don't know, is uh, I guess a bespoke property consultancy where we basically work with business people and property investors who want to become property business owners to uh, ensure that we can help them set up appropriate business systems and structures. One of the things we do with them is what we call our strategic needs analysis, and this is part of it which we're going through today. Obviously, it won't be on a one-to-one -one basis, but it will hopefully give you some insight into what we look at when we're, we're talking about business, and also some of the uh, areas in which you can sit back from your property business and look at where can I improve things. So this is this is obviously very much a key. You can take away with it. You, you can make notes on it, uh, and it is a personal thing, so if you don't want to share how you're doing in terms of some of these questions, that's fine. If you want to share, obviously that would be great, just from an interaction point of view. Uh, and what we're going to do is kind of work through each sheet, uh, and as we go through it, if people want to contribute, that would be fantastic. So, one of the, the main reasons we started doing this strategic needs analysis is because a lot of the property business owners we were talking to, or property investors, uh, when we talked to them at events, they were very much talking about getting the next deal, uh, sourcing another property, doing a cashback deal, doing a no money down deal, etc. But not a lot of them were talking about the back end. What happens when you've actually got the property? What do you do with it? It, it doesn't just lay itself, unfortunately. Even if you have a letting agent, there's various bits and pieces you need to do. So one of the things that we've been very much focused on, specifically from having HMO, is making sure all those systems are in place so that you can actually delegate it to somebody else if you want to, or not spend all of your time and energy running around chasing tenants or marketing, whatever it may be. And we came up with a series of different questions and analysis and profiling that we, we, we use to understand what investors are doing in their business at the moment and how they can progress from being an investor to a business owner. And this is a this is a a mixture of our strategic needs analysis that we do and also a, a, another uh, piece that we do which is looking at different marketing assets that are held within business organisations. And the first question we always kick off with when we speak to investors is, how is your business doing at the moment? And there's only really three answers to that.